My name is David Okinye. I school in Kodila Primary School, then attend 345 marks. I moved to Kanyawanga through the Wings to Fly program. Nyatini, a chaco code, my boar. A chaco code, mean you are a code. Nasari, a chaco gikumaka. I let any no, 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 Getting the scholarship was a challenge to me. It was even a surprise to me that I won the scholarship. How would you like to be when you grow up? I said you. And why do you want to be a doctor? To help even children who are not having parents when they come to the school for me to teach them. You are looking to come. My end of layer, come on, my end of layer. Amid the happiness, it was a big challenge to me because I said to myself that there's something these people saw in me that they didn't see in others to give me this opportunity. David was a very excellent boy in terms of academic. He did so well. Uh, even though when he came in, he came through the Wings to Fly program where he scored 345 marks. Uh, we thought it was a bit low for our standards, but all the same we gave him the opportunity now that we had partnered with the Wings to Fly equity program. And uh, we were not disappointed in him because when he came in with the low marks, he was always consistently working hard in school. He did so well through the program and through school, right from Form 1 uh, to the Form 4 when he left, when he graduated. When I wake up every day in the morning, I take some few minutes and look at where I come from. I look at the state of my grandmom, who sacrificed a lot of her time and gave, gave me all she had to make me school. And the support from my teachers, the support from Equity Bank. And I always see that there's need for me to work more extra hard. <laughs> I knew that I had to change my family because I come from a humble background and the society at large. So I made it and got an airplane of 82 points. I've been going to my primary school, my high school, and even where I stayed and inspire others also to work hard and know that despite the financial constraint and the humble background, they can still achieve it. Everything is possible and I know I will achieve it and also make others unleash their potential, show them the light through education. Okinyi was one of my mentors. We shared a lot with him and he's always been like the pioneer to us with the Institute for Light Scholars in Kayawaga. Since he's going to attend to a prestigious university abroad, I see it as a challenge to myself and to other students. I wish to join him as soon as I finish the school and I'll urge others to work hard so that we can get the opportunity to join him. I was in this class in 2013. What you need is clear dedication and determination. I love to venture in the books and also exploit your potential. Work hard, commit yourself, determination regardless of your humble background. Regardless of whatever you are facing, the hard life in high school, you'll still make it. And also, for those who are willing, you can join me abroad. We were introduced to college counseling by the Equity Group Foundation, where I showed a lot of interest, I dedicated my time, and participated in it well. So after the college counseling, I got my admission to Arizona State University. I believe that leadership starts from leading myself, knowing my priorities. So, so long as I can lead myself, I, I always understand that I am a leader. I got the opportunity to make connection with different peoples who are in different positions, maybe in the county government, and also share to them a lot. I've known how to embrace teamwork, since that's one of the core values of the bank working with the team members in Migori branch and also relating well with others because 
as I was handling customers, I knew and I got to know how to handle different people with different problems. I'm going to Arizona State University and I'm going to pursue economics and urban planning. I major in economics and I major in urban planning. I decided to take economics through my personal consideration. Living in a humble background, I knew there were some financial constraints. So the little we had, we had to manage it and get to know how to use it. So studying economics will help me to know to help the country budget through education purposes. We got that news that is one of the students who is going to the Arizona State University. We were so glad as a school because uh, this is our product and uh, it has inspired most of the students who have been left here uh, to, so that they can have something to look forward to in their studies. To one of us getting into that particular university gives us great motivation even to accept more of the students who come from humble background, even with low marks, because this is really a wonderful thing to talk about. We really want to encourage you so that if you go back to, if you get to the U.S. and get to study, get into your books. We expect you, as you are back in the U.S., you can give us more when you come back, interact with the students, remember where your journey came from, um, so that you can inspire more of the students when they come back to the school.